what is good you to ba hey <laughs> we're on our nightwish journey we're just uh breaking through all of these things i'm sorry i'm so late on this guys but um this one is called the children of Atta, which reminds me of um a true story actually it was the uh, it was on the island of Atta. there was um this is like back in 1965 i think but there were some schoolboys, I think there were six schoolboys, um, who were at some kind of like Angelican like boarding school. They ran away, they stole a boat, they got stuck in a storm. Um, as they ran away, the storm damaged their boat. They ended up drifting for, you know, hundreds of miles, whatever it is, and they ended up, um, you know, crash landing or their boat crashing on the island of, of Atta. And um, they were stuck there for like 15 months. And... Um, so when, when this is the children of Atta, um, I'm thinking this is probably that story uh, because, again, it's a Tongan island. And so, um, yeah, let's just jump into this. Again, guys, you know the routine. Uh, do me a, a favor. And if this is where that, let's swim over to the subscribe button over here. Bam! And swim over there and splash that subscribe button. And we will we will uh, hopefully get to our 10,000 by the end of... Uh, us going through this album. So, uh, without further ado, let's jump into this. The Children of Atta. Mark set. Go. <laughs> Is that Tonga? <laughs> Guys, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, let me look Google the, the, I'm gonna translate this because I'm, if this is what this story, <laughs> dude, they are so cool. <laughs> I, I love this band so much. They get these random real life stories and just, so let me, let me pull up these lyrics real quick. Hold on. I want to translate this. Sorry about that. Okay, translate. Oh, first let's do the Children of Octon Nightwish lyrics. Okay. Now let's um, click over translate from Tongan to English. Paste. I'm just gonna keep this up then. So it's Fanu Oka. Okay, so this means, yeah, it is Tongan. Dude, this is, the, oh, I love this. I love it when I get these things right. Um, it translates, I don't know if the translation, it's a Google translate, so I don't know if it's, it's translating correctly, but it says, um, what she just saying right here is, my breath is full of pain in the evening. <clears throat> the ocean has carried you. My sons are coming home. We know that these are all teenage boys uh, from the ages of like 13 to 19 uh, that were stranded for 15 months on this island. And they survived and they figured it out. But wow, this is cool. So they start off in the Tongan language. Oh, this is, this is sick. <laughs> See, 15 months, that's the story. They were they were stranded on the island for 15 months. Oh, this is cool. It's got such an 80s vibe to that synth that he's doing. Still fastness in the horizon. Fifteen long months under mocking sun. Love through us there away from one place to us. Music get on her. We were there. We were there. Okay.
Oh yeah. yeah. Can you imagine? I mean, it's like the whole castaway thing with Tom Hanks, but this is this is six boys. But can you imagine? You're teenagers. You have your family. You have your school, and then you're stranded in it. And it's probably paradise for the first 15 minutes, and then it's like, what do we do? We gotta eat. We gotta find shelter. We gotta find warmth. We gotta figure out what to do. We're we're in this solitude. Oh my goodness, that would be a nightmare to be in that. But this got an 80s vibe. <laughs> hold on, hold on. I knew that was coming, kind of, but I was, I was still thriving in on the '80s vibe with the synth, the little, the little, little um, what was it, Night Rider theme there. But um, <laughs> then it just comes in with heavy guitars. But think about that. Yeah, they say that man is the foulest um, beast, full of self deceit. I mean, this is facts. And when you're stuck in a, a place of solitude with just I should probably look at the camera. I'm looking at the window. Look at the camera. Uh, when you're stuck at a place of solitude um, on an island, I mean, the demons are going to come out. The demons are going to come out. It's, it's, wow. Now let's get into this, this big old big part. Camps of what? Dude, they are so clever. Like, they always tie in stories of the past, even though it's only like 1965, with modern day. And and this is, again, it's the children of Ada, right? But when they said, um, okay, was it? Let me get this. When they said Campsite Gaia, you think about that. There's a there's an app that you can download. It's called um, it's Gaia GPS. And what Gaia GPS does is, again, I live in, in Central Oregon, so this is really cool. We learn this stuff. But with with Gaia GPS, you download it and it gives you access. It shows you all the free campsites. And they're saying Campsite Gaia when these these boys are stranded on an island. They're literally camping but there's no gps to find them and so it's a that's an incredible bar it's like a dude that's sick these guys are clever i like guitar Hear that in the guitar? The guitar is going, dun, dun, dun. it's chiming with hope. I love how they do this. So, The Lord of the Flies. Now, I don't know if The Lord of Flies was was a story that was built uh, uh, off of off of this story, off this true story, of the children of, of Ada, the Tongan Island. But if you know anything about The Lord of the Flies, The Lord of the Flies, at least the movie. I know the movie came out in the in the early '90s or mid '90s. I don't remember, but it was really the the only difference that I could see was that well, there's a lot of differences, but. The children weren't in a, a boat wreck. They were in a, um, like the plane was shot down. It's like a UK plane or something was shot down. And then they were stranded on an island. But if you think about the Lord of the Flies and you go to the deeper meaning, and this is what's really cool about it, um, the, like the moral, the, the theme of the, to the Lord of the Flies is that you can't shape society based on like 
political systems. Like that never works. That you really have to base society on eth on on like the ethical nature of the individual. And the Lord of the Flies just takes that to extreme. Like you have to have ethical people because you had this island of of kids who were stranded. They had no systems, and then you could see the destructive nature, the Lord of the Flies kind of thing, because there was there was a lack of of ethical. Um, like purity or whatever. So you can't base it on political systems. And we know, we know uh, that Tuamis, um, hopefully I'm saying that right because I pronounced everything wrong. Um, he loves to tie in songs that, that have political themes and history and these hidden meetings. And <coughs> he brings these things together. And I just, man, that's a clever line. Tie in the Lord of the Flies with this because... Literally, that's what it is. That's exactly what this is. Fire. Fire. Dude, that's a clever bar there too. Like, well, it's not a bar, but it goes with the Lord of the Flies because one of the stories in the Lord of, of the Flies was um, they they had a, a signal fire going and they had to have someone watch it so that it never went out and it went out and that's the whole thing. And she's saying here, light the fire for the boat of fire and then capsite uh, Gaia going into that whole. Uh, I missed that the first time we're going around. This is so good. Okay, so there's there's this chant. It sounds like again, it sounds like a Gregorian chant low, but let me. I got these lyrics up here, but let me pull them back up again. Where are we at? So is this Tongan again? Translate this. It is. Ko itu loto ki ta. However you say that. Um, let's see what this says. Our prayer is to live. We are still, this is a bad translation. We are still labeling or we're still surviving. I don't know. But our prayer is to live. That's what they're saying. Dude, this is, and it's cool because it sounds like a storm. I'm like, oh, we don't want to die. We don't, we want to, they're praying to live. This is sick.
to that lyric, learning to live. And there's such a double there because don't we in s different seasons of our life as we go through certain trials, whatever, we have to like relearn how to live. But they're literally on an island learning how to survive, learning to live. Dude, that double there is, is because again, when you, t when you compare that with the Lord of the Flies and you've got to learn that, that society is built on, on individual ethicalness and not on political system, the system, you know, that stuff, learning how to reprogram that, dude, that's fire. That's fire. <laughs> harmonies Ooh. it's coming in like the tide that was so good that was so good oh see I love breaking down bars and that was good oh I love it when there's so many different layers in, uh, to a song that was cool that was cool guys thank you so much um, I'll see you on the next one <laughs> bye